The beach is meant to be a fun and zen place where we can all go to relax or have fun. But much to our frustration, it would seem nasty little animals did not get the memo and turn up on beaches ruining it for everyone. These are the 20 most dangerous animals on the beach. Number 20. Portuguese Man of War Although it looks a lot like a jellyfish, apparently the Portuguese Man of War is not one. They're actually called a saphinophore, which means, and this is freaky, that they are a colony of numerous genetically identical individuals. They cannot survive on their own, so they clump together into a tentacled blob. In order to eat or move, they have to work together a bit like the Borg. So, this might be an alien. Portuguese man of war are clones that spookily move around the ocean in a collection of blobs, using their tentacles to catch prey and their venom to deliver painful and deadly stings. Nice! So, how bad a problem are you likely to have should you encounter a man of war? Well, these alien creatures do wash up on beaches from time to time, and they sting like crazy. So you should never poke anything that even remotely looks like one of these animals, even if it is a pretty rainbow-colored one. A severed tentacle can still sting for ages after it's been detached. Now, although a sting from one of these weird blobs is unlikely to kill you, there's always a chance that it might. Anaphylactic shock is a possibility, as is cardiac arrest from a bad sting. Plus, it's just super unpleasant, even if you happen to be lucky. So. If you see this while swimming, get out of the water right away. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. The Box Jellyfish Ah, the box jellyfish. Perhaps not the most obviously cute in all the animal kingdom, but they do have a certain charm. Perhaps you prefer your cuteness kind of wobbly and see-through, rather than fluffy and cuddly. It takes all sorts, after all. But even if this creature is your idea of cuteness incarnate, whatever you do, do not touch it. That's right, these are the most venomous of all marine animals, and that's really saying something. These wibbly-wobbly super stingers have long tentacles that are basically covered in a whole bunch of tiny poison-loaded darts. And if you pet one of these puppies, that death juice is likely as not going to be injected right into your bloodstream. And then I'm afraid you are as good as dead, sunshine. The venom works quickly, but it's painful nonetheless. It causes paralysis, cardiac arrest, and often death within a few minutes of being stung. Luckily, out of over 50 species of jellyfish, only a few of those are actually deadly to humans. So that's a relief then. But still, even if you think they are cute, don't even think about touching them. Number 18. Stonefish Now, this fish can put a serious downer on an afternoon's paddle in the sea, that's for sure. The next time you take a dip in the tropical waters of the Indo-Pacific, you should be careful where you step. The stonefish, a master of disguise, is one of the deadliest animals on Earth. It produces a particularly nasty venom that is often fatal to humans, unless anti-venom can be administered in time. These super dangerous guys like to hide out on the ocean floor, just looking like a rock, but don't be fooled, these fish are definitely up to no good. The stonefish has 13 venomous spines along its back, and if anything even brushes against these, then venom can be released. If you accidentally step on a stonefish, it will sting you, and that nasty sting is extremely painful and is going to need immediate medical attention. The venom from a stonefish can cause swelling, pain, tissue death, and cardiac arrest, so that's a whole barrel of laughs then. And if you simply have to venture into the water, where these badass fish hang out, then please be careful, wear your shoes, and watch where you step and cross your fingers, I suppose. Number 17. The Blue Ringed Octopus This is the petite but deadly blue ringed octopus. It may be only 5 to 8 inches long, but it has a venomous bite that is lethal enough to dispatch as many as 26 humans in a matter of minutes. Unsurprisingly, these diminutive cephalopods 
rank amongst the ocean's deadliest inhabitants. The potent neurotoxin wielded by the blue-ringed octopus is none other than tetrodotoxin, also found in notorious species like the pufferfish and the golden poison frog. A bite from this octopus necessitates immediate medical intervention and life support as the neurotoxin induces paralysis, halting all bodily functions, which includes breathing. <laughs> Jeez. It may look like a lava lamp, but it's actually a really trippy way to get really dead really fast. Those festive fairy lights, they're not there for your entertainment. They're actually there to warn you to stay well away. And if you want to live to see another day, you should probably take that warning very seriously indeed. Number 16. Scorpion Scorpions in general are fairly unpleasant insects. You almost certainly wouldn't want to discover one crawling up the inside of your trouser leg. Although we may imagine that all scorpions are pretty dangerous, Actually, out of the 1,500 species that are known, only a few dozen are venomous. But the Indian red scorpion is one of those venomous ones, and it is the most deadly. 40% of people who are stung by these particular scorpions are killed by the venom. That's not an especially reassuring figure. These insects live in India, Sri Lanka, and Nepal, and have been a major issue because they have a nasty habit of hanging out where children love to play usually barefoot. These arachnids, because actually that's what they are and not insects, are generally nocturnal. But if they're disturbed or they feel threatened, that's when they're going to sting. If you were to be unfortunate enough to be stung by an Indian red scorpion, you may anticipate the following delightful symptoms. Extreme pain, followed by sweating, vomiting, breathlessness, and then an alternating high and low blood pressure as well as crazy heart rate. Finally, that venom will head to your heart and lungs, which can result in your death. Shall we move swiftly on then? Number 15. The Marbled Cone Snail A slow-moving snail with carnivorous tendencies needs a ruthlessly efficient system to stop their prey from wandering off, and the cone snail has developed one of the deadliest and most effective poison delivery techniques on the planet. A venom that the cone snail uses can paralyze its prey almost instantly, and that is some scary stuff. The cone snail also has a very particular way to get the poison into its prey. They have a sort of harpoon-like tooth which they fire out of the front of them, and this pokes into their victim and delivers the deadly toxic cocktail. It's brutally efficient. Oddly though, scientists have discovered that certain isolated parts of the toxic combination may have some huge medical possibilities as painkillers. Despite the painkilling potential hidden inside the lethal venom, humans have indeed been killed by the venomous sting of a cone snail. There's actually no known antidote to the venom. So the only hope that you have if you do get stung is that you can be kept alive by machines and medical miracles until the toxins wear off. This is a bit of a risky business, really. So, if it's a cone, leave it alone. Number 14. The Pufferfish Pufferfish are the second most poisonous vertebrate on the planet. Even in second place, though, these fish each contain enough deadly tetrodotoxin to kill 30 humans. So, I reckon second place is basically irrelevant. They're named the pufferfish for the weird way in which they protect themselves from would-be predators in the wild. They can puff themselves up to make it extremely difficult for a predator to keep a hold of them or to even sink their teeth in. In reality, this defense mechanism probably saves the predator's life as often as it does the fish's because just one nibble could kill. <laughs> He's like, okay, I'm gonna work this out. There you go. There he goes. Although their reputation as a super deadly poisonous fish is extremely well known, there are still plenty of people out there who want to eat the thing. It's crazy, but it's true. In Japan, the fish is a delicacy, but it absolutely must be prepared by a highly skilled certified person. You make one tiny wrong cut when preparing the fish, and whoever eats it is a goner. This is a serious business, and although there's approximately one death per year from ingesting this delicacy, these are almost always caused by people attempting to prepare the fish themselves, rather than to pay the high restaurant prices for an expert to do it properly. Number 13. The Striped Pajama Squid Next up, we have a cheeky little cuttlefish that has a silly name, but a deadly secret. This is the Striped Pajama Squid, otherwise known as the Flamboyant Cuttlefish. 
It is a diminutive cephalopod that can be found in the waters of the Great Barrier Reef all the way to central South Australia, and these odd little creatures only grow to a few inches in length, but they make the most out of their small size by being extremely snazzy in their stylings. They have a combination of dark and light stripes, which make it look a bit like it's wearing pajamas, hence the name. As well as the outfit, however, the flamboyant cuttlefish comes in different sets of clothing like a deluxe Barbie. These sea creatures are actually able to change their color and even their texture, so as to keep up with all the latest trends, and they can appear with many different patterns and colors. They're also known for their weird style of moving about in the water. They walk on the seabed by using their tentacles. It's kind of strange, but perhaps this is another reason that people say they are so flamboyant. Before you go getting all excited and wanting to pet one of these dapper dressers, you should know that they are not only so vivid because of their fashion, they're actually super toxic and their colors could be seen as a warning. These cuttlefish are stuffed full of nasty tetrodotoxin it's the same junk that makes the pufferfish so poisonous. Number 12. The Lionfish This spectacular fish has definitely got a unique style. The lionfish has been a big favorite of aquarium owners for many years. Its frilly fancy looks have captured a lot of fans, but the fish is actually a bit of a menace. The lionfish is native to the Indo-Pacific region, but lately this ornate ocean dweller has been popping up all over the place, and that's quite the problem. Now considered an invasive species in the coastal waters of the southeast United States and the Caribbean, these fish are doing more harm than good to the delicate ecosystems in those areas. The lionfish is a predatory species, and since settling into new waters, has been systematically scoffing up all kinds of creatures that it has no business interfering with. The lionfish is known to be doing untold damages to the balance of the saline on the reefs. They eat too many parrotfish, which means that with fewer parrotfish to eat it, the seaweed is out of control. They're also taking it out on the grouper and the snapper population, leaving less available to sustain those species. Invasive species are always going to be a problem, but right now, with all of the other pressures on the marine environment from climate change, overfishing, and pollution, an invading greedy creature hoovering up all the food may well be too much to handle. Number 11. Flower Urchin This hedgehoggy looking kind of sea creature is a kind of sea urchin that is mostly found in the waters of the Indo-West Pacific. Even though they don't really look like much, they are not to be underestimated. These innocuous appearing things were named the world's most dangerous sea urchin by our old pals of the Guinness Book of World Records, and you know those guys don't just hand out any old title willy-nilly. Mostly found lurking in coral reefs and seagrass beds in both rocky and sandy places beneath the water, flower urchins are considered extremely dangerous. This sea hedgehog has nasty stinging parts which are contained within their pretty looking little petals, so that's a rather rude surprise. And that sting is one which is considered medically significant, so it's not exactly a walk in the park if you're unlucky enough to get stung by them. The thing is though, these things don't always need for you to actually touch them or oafishly step on them. Some species are able to shoot their painful venom loaded spines across a short distance. <laughs> so that's lovely. Flower urchins are, unsurprisingly perhaps, not really preyed upon by many other animals. They're toxic to most fish and painful to many other creatures, including humans. One sting from this sea creature can even prove to be fatal in some cases. The venom contained within it can have a powerful effect on its victim, causing such exciting symptoms as severe debilitating pain, followed by muscle paralysis and breathing problems then numbness and disorientation. The fatalities associated with these stings actually record the cause of death as drowning, following the poisoning from the venom, which in some cases is enough to cause the victim to lose consciousness or become confused, thus leading them to drowning. What a fun one. Number 10. Surgeon Fish Surgeon fish are actually extremely common around coral reefs in a lot of places around the world, There are a whole bunch of different species of these fish, and actually, they aren't all that dangerous. They have a slightly spooky sort of name, you know, the idea of a fish doing surgery, 
seems a bit like a weird nightmare of Hammer House of Horror style, but it's essentially rather silly. Anyways, their name comes from the pointy spines that they have at the base of their tails. This, according to some rather imaginative interpretations, resembles a surgeon's scalpel. Well, okay then. Apparently, however, these fish will defend themselves if they feel threatened. It seems only fair, really, and it means that they can actually be aggressive. The Red Sea surgeon fish is known to be especially grumpy if a snorkeling bozo blunders into it, its territory by surprise. So, you better watch your step. Number 9. Needlefish Now we have the needlefish, which is generally found in very shallow coastal waters or at the surface of the ocean. There are several different sorts, and although most are sea dwellers, there are some that do live in freshwater places, like rivers and streams. These fish look a lot like freshwater gars that can be found in North America. They have the same sort of long and narrow jaws with a lot of sharp teeth, and they can actually be a threat to humans. Needlefish can jump out of the water at speeds of up to 37 miles per hour, and given their habit of hanging out near the surface, they're known to leap onto the decks of boats and then attack people on board, especially at night when the fish are seemingly attracted to the artificial lights on the boats. They may not seem like the most dangerous of creatures, being a fish out of water and all, but these pointy-faced terrors are capable of doing some serious damage to an unsuspecting person. Their sharp front ends can inflict extremely deep puncture wounds, and then, adding insult to injury, the beak will break off in the victim. Ugh. And there are even some deaths that have been attributed to these random stabbings, mostly when the poor people were unlucky enough to find the fish punctured them in a vital organ. Number 8. The Trigger Fish Just look at those teeth. They could take on a whole gaggle of real housewives in the dental work department. This is actually a trigger fish, and these brightly colored fish are found in the tropical and subtropical waters of shallow coastal places, often found in and around coral reefs and are famous for their bad temper. In fact, one bite from a trigger fish, like this one in the video, is a relatively common occurrence amongst divers. The female is especially aggressive towards other fish, but also to humans who happen to blunder too close to her nest. They can also be quite aggressive during mating season in general, and so those teeth are likely to be used to take chunks out of anyone or anything that dopily wanders into their territory. You have been warned. Number 7. The Sea Snake there are tons of different sorts of sea snakes, and almost all of them are venomous, so in general, it's best to avoid them all. <laughs> These aquatic creatures are generally found in the sea, although there are a few species that are exclusively freshwater-dwelling sorts. They're not like fish, so they don't have gills, and that means that they have to regularly go to the surface in order to breathe. For the most part, sea snakes will only attack if provoked or threatened, but if they do, then it's pretty bad news for whoever or whatever gets bitten. Some species of sea snake are purveyors of the most potent venom of all snakes, and they rarely actually use it when they bite. So fortunately, deadly attacks on humans are quite rare. But weirdly, when they do inject venom in a bite, it's often painless and may not even be noticed when it happens. What follows becomes pretty hard to miss, though, Victims may experience a super fast breaking down of skeletal muscle tissue and paralysis, and prior to that, they may have a headache, sweating, and vomiting, then muscle aches and tenderness. Symptoms can take anywhere from 30 minutes to several hours to materialize, so it's not obvious what's happening until it's too late. When paralysis affects the breathing and swallowing, well, that's when it becomes fatal. Number 6. Leopard Seal Next up, we have the leopard seal, which is named for its spotty, leopard-like coat pattern. These are a super aggressive seal species, and these adept hunters have a particular penchant for warm-blooded prey, which is often scarily and somewhat cannibalistically in the form of a fellow seal. Weighing in at a hefty 840 pounds and reaching lengths of up to 11 and a half feet, these maritime fatties inhabit the frigid waters of Antarctica. They have a substantial layer of blubber beneath their speckled skin for insulation, and all that insulation requires a whole bunch of eating. When it comes to food, these seals can be ruthless. 
While their diet does include the occasional small seal, leopard seals also have mad skills in capturing penguins and other seabirds. They use their robust jaws and sharp teeth to spend their time lurking near ice shelves as they patiently wait for dopey old penguins to approach, or they rather enjoy making surprise attacks from underwater as birds land on the surface. Not as cute as they looked after all. Number 5. Stingrays The unusual flat shape of the stingray makes this a really distinctive fish, so that makes them easy to avoid if you happen upon one while you're out for a paddle. And you should avoid them, just in case. There are actually around 200 different species of stingrays that live within the oceans and freshwater rivers and lakes around the world. They vary in size enormously, from around 10 inches to about 16 and a half feet in length, and many of them are in danger of extinction as their habitats are under threat and waters warm up in many places. These animals dwell close to the seafloor, as this is where they hunt for their prey, and they have a long and narrow tail, and that is the pointy and dangerous part of the stingray. Avoid this area at all costs, because their tails are often a kind of barbed affair with a whole lot of terrible toxins concealed inside. This is their stinger, and it's also the part of the body they use to protect themselves against any kind of perceived threat. That could include an overenthusiastic or just very unfortunate human that happens to be within striking distance of their venomous tail. Although possible, deaths as a result of the stingray sting are actually very rare indeed. Although their sting is unpleasant, it also needs to be applied with extreme accuracy for it to actually be deadly. The most famous unfortunate stingray death was that of Steve Irwin, the popular television nature guy who was stung directly in the heart when the stingray's tail pierced his chest. This was an extremely unusual occurrence and just a very unlucky situation. But even so, I would still mind your fingers and leave the petting to something a lot more fluffy and a little less stuffed with venom, even if you think these fish are cute. Number 4. Saltwater Crocodile do you have any idea which animal is the most likely to eat a human? Well, you guessed it, it's these monster-sized saltwater crocodiles. At least it's what it says in their yearbooks. Other than being voted most likely human eater, what else do we know about these biggest of the crocodilians? Well, these reptiles have a huge range. They can be found from India through the Southeast Asia to Australia, and they really do deserve their title as biggest crocodiles. These guys generally measure around 17 feet long and weigh up to 1,000 pounds, but it's actually not uncommon to find examples that are an astonishing 23 feet in length and a gargantuan 2,200 pounds. Yikes! The opportunistic saltwater croc lies in wait just below the surface of the water near the shore. It's a prime place for catching a spot of lunch, as many animals will come to the water for refreshment. And as they pause by the edge, the crocodile takes its chance, one swift and sudden movement to grab a hold of its prey, and then it's pulled under in water until it drowns. The crocodile is not a picky eater. It will take anything that passes by, from monkeys to wild boar, from water buffaloes to sharks, there just aren't many creatures that can escape once a crocodile has them in its vice-like bite. Number 3. Killer Whale The orca is somewhat unfairly also known as the killer whale. The super clever mammal is not a real threat to humans at all. In fact, there are actually no recorded attacks of orcas on humans in the wild. So it seems a pretty inaccurate name, but it makes these big creatures sound scary anyway. Although, if you are a sea-dwelling creature and this incredible sea monster is hungry, well... The orca is a member of the dolphin family, so they live in pods or social groups just like dolphins do. They're really sociable creatures and have a whole bunch of different ways to communicate with each other. Like dolphins, orcas make different sounds that are used to interact with other orcas, like echolocation, which is where they make sounds that travel underwater and bounce off of objects. The orcas can then tell how far away, how big, and what the shape of something is. Now, that's a super clever and efficient way to find their prey. It's amazingly strong as a predator with a wicked set of skills that can make them perfectly equipped to hunt and thrive in the oceans of the world. They enjoy a wide range of different prey. They are definitely killers in that sense. At the top of the food chain, they will hunt anything from fish to squid to penguins, seals, and seabirds and they're also pretty partial to the occasional whale. The orca sure does have a big appetite. 
Number 2. The Bull Shark The bull shark is also known as the Zambezi shark because this guy can be found swimming about and eating people in rivers. You know, like the Zambezi. What a fun one! As if it wasn't sharky enough in all the oceans, these ones have also decided that they need to live in warm shallow waters, not only along coasts, but also in freshwater rivers and estuaries. That's right, the bull shark, not really fussy about its habitat, it loves to swim a long way, so you never know quite where it might pop up next. Oh, and they're also notoriously aggressive. These sharks have been known to swim all the way up the Mississippi River, as far as Alton, Illinois, which is 700 miles from the closest ocean. This news is not exactly reassuring when you find out that it's bull sharks and not great white sharks, which are responsible for almost all near-shore shark attacks. They're large and solid, with one of the most fierce bite forces amongst any kind of fish, and perhaps the scariest thing about the species of shark is they can be found just about anywhere. From the Ohio River to the Ganges, from the Sydney Harbor to the Jersey Shore. I'm seriously reconsidering that canoeing vacation now, aren't you? Number 1. Dingo The dingo is a type of feral dog from Australia. It has long had a positive relationship with the indigenous people of the country, but less so with the colonial settler populations. These are animals with a storied reputation, but are they misunderstood? Well, the official number of dingo attacks on humans is quite low, but like all wild animals, dingoes are unpredictable. They're very easily provoked, and if they're protecting their young, they can be extremely hostile. If you happen to provoke a dingo, it will very likely become violent and aggressive. But just look at that cute little face. It's all kind of confusing, isn't it? Now before you dash out and try to coax a cuddly looking dingo back to your abode, do bear in mind that these wild dogs have been known to attack and kill a human, and may even be illegal to keep. Some parts of Australia require that you actually have a permit to keep a dingo, and in other regions it is banned altogether. Will you ever go poking a toe in the water again after all of that? Do let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section below. You should also check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I will see you next time.